Hello, Spence Stanky here with another box opening. And my cool box opening. Oh yeah. I don't know if you guys have been following me or noticed I've mentioned that I'm expecting something from Mr. Nolamakul. And he has done me an absolute amazingly solid job in purchasing something for me. And we just did a trade for it. He's just such a cool guy. Check out his channel. He's done a box open of what I sent him. I'll put a link in the description below. And yeah, he's just a really cool, funny guy. And I really like his videos. He's just awesome. And for what he's done for me, blown away. I mentioned him a couple of years back that we did a big trade of a load of bits and fodder for bits of fodder and uh, just absolutely blown away and super satisfied with him. Very trustworthy guy and really, really awesome. And then of course we have this one. I know I know exactly what's in both of these because I'm not expecting much. This one I actually thought was a write-off and I was actually about to try put in a claim for it because it's been for so long. But we shall see and then we'll go over that. So anyway, without further ado, let's crack into these Cool box openings. We're gonna do the best one to last because this one I'm a bit blah about. It's gonna cut it in here. Boom! The well, it says the Figma Max Factory Aaron Jaeger action figure. Very dented. Hmm. Now, I'm a bit hmm about this because I purchased this off eBay and it only cost me £15 to post it from China. Which I thought was a bargain, so I just swept it up. I recently finished watching the uh, Attack on Titan series, and it's a very awesome series. FYI, not one for little children. It's very bloody. Lots of blood in it. So it made me inspired to try and find some figures, and I saw these ones, so I picked them up. And I was like, yeah, that's a bargain price, so really happy with that. Then, after which, I saw some posts on my Facebook saying about what are the knockoff figures like. And I was like, there's knockoff figures? I didn't even know there were some. And I'm pretty confident this is a knockoff. The box does actually look pretty good to be honest, but the way the figures just kind of like plopped in there and the accessories look a bit plopped in there. We shall see. So I think this is a knockoff. I'm not 100%. But the packaging does look really good if it is a knockoff. Someone said to, um, they thought the it was easy to tell for the packaging, but I don't know about you guys, but that's pretty good apart from being dented to crap. It looks pretty good. Anyway, I'll do a review on this to let you know if it is or if it isn't. And uh, we should go from there. Now, onto the McGool box. I love his name, it's just such a freaking cool name. Like, it's literally, McGool. I left it on there just so you guys can see. <laughs> Hey Nick, hope this guy got you safely. I'm glad with uh, how our trade worked out and hope to do business with you again soon. Hopefully you will have an easier time with the bubble wrap than I do. <laughs> Hopefully this one isn't a bootleg like the last time. Can't wait for the review. Talk to you later. Nolan. Ah, See, I didn't even think to put Nolan in his. He's so cool. That's a little cotton sucks. Yeah, the reason why he said hope it's not bootleg like last time is he brought me a NECA Robocop 3 with the jetpack and he said it to me loose because it was be cheaper. I said to him, don't worry about a packaging, I'm not that bothered. But then after close inspection, I never actually showed you this guy to you guys because I was going to get another one, was the left arm just refused to move. And I took it apart to see if it was just seized like sometimes joints do, but it wasn't. It was a completely different material. The right arm was a solid plastic like a hard plastic in the joint, and the left arm was a soft rubber. So that's what he's referring to. I don't know what happened now. I tried contacting NECA, but they kind of just blew me off. But I ended up finding another Robocop, but it's just a plain, it's the like the second one, the one with the spring leg still. And I took the jetpack on that one, so it all looks good. 
Anyway, let's get back to the bubble wrap. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what he says in his video because it's quite funny. But yeah, you just, you've got to watch his box openers. He's a very, very funny guy. Okay, so we have bubble wrap. We have bubble wrap. We have bubble wrap. Wow, he really, really packaged this one. <laughs> Thank you, Nolan. The Necker. Batman 1989 Michael Keaton. Is it the 75th anniversary edition? I'm not too sure. But wow. Now you guys saw a little while back I did a custom paint job of the 8-bit one. <laughs> this is such a funny thing. Like I said in that video basically. I bought the 8-bit one. I did a review for it. And then they showed pictures of this one coming out. So I sold that one with the intent of buying this one. But this one was just super, super, super ridiculously priced, so I gave up on that. I then rebought the 8-bit one, and I gave it a paint job, and you guys saw the video for that. Now, I have two painted like this. One custom, one this one. And I don't need to, so I might sell my custom painted 8-bit one with the leather cape. Hmm, I don't know. We'll have a look at this. We'll do a comparison video, I think, of the two. And then... We shall see. If anyone's interested in purchasing, please drop me a comment down below and we can contact each other via Facebook and maybe discuss that. And then, of course, we have the Batman movie. Now, this is a Blu-ray, but I'm not sure if this will work on region... I don't know if they're region free. Hmm. We shall see. Right, anyway... That is my box opening. Um, thank you, Nolan. You're awesome. Thank you, eBay, whose name I do not know because I'm kind of very skeptical about this one, but we shall see. And yeah, super stoked about that. Can't thank you enough, man. You really did me solid for this one, and I owe you so much. So, dude, you are freaking awesome. Anyway, that's my box opening, guys. So, as usual, thanks for watching. Please check out the links down below. So like I said, check out Nolan's videos. He's very, very cool. Very, very funny guy. Um, his videos, even a simple box open, he always makes it hysterical. And yeah, check out, stay tuned for reviews for both of these, which we're hopefully going to get maybe later today. Did have plans today, but they've now been cancelled. So it's only like something silly in the morning. Like it's not even eight o'clock in the morning yet. That's how dedicated I am to my YouTubers. I should be asleep right now. Day off work. But no, I'm up to do this for you. <laughs> anyway guys thanks a lot for watching keep collecting and I'm going to catch you in my next one bye bye